Guess who's back, 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 back again, get, get, shady, back, 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 to friend, friend, friend. Okay, it. it would be really fun if we did this entire episode in these masks, but we are almost alone in this tap room. Uh, we are we, the only patrons in this tap room. Yes, and we've been around each other. So. We've been cuddling. So you, also, <laughs> you'll notice that we are sharing beers. We are not just flagrantly not caring about COVID precautions. We right. have been staying in the same house. We've been socially distancing from everyone else, using tons of hand sanitizer. Everything's been Lysol wiped. We're ready. We're prepared. We're ready to party. party. Okay. And it's uh, 10 a.m. So where are we? Who are you? What is this? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, we haven't done a take the lot in a real long time. It's but been a minute. Hi, I'm Mel. I'm one of the co-founders of Work for Your Beer. I'm Alicia, and I actually am the heiress to the Thomas English muffins fortune. So, <laughs> so she, honestly, if you ever need English muffins, just hit her up. Yeah. She's gonna uh, dump a truckload off. And if you want to know the best topping. Here's the inside scoop. You do butter and then you do jam. It's a game changer. It's a family secret, so. <laughs> a Thomas family secret. Do they even know that that was my maiden name? Probably not. Well, that used to be your name. If you didn't get the joke, I'm sorry. This is Alicia Valensky now. Oh yes, I'm Alicia Valensky. I'm also a co-founder of uh, Work For Your Beer. She's also the only Alicia Valensky in the world. In the world, isn't the that crazy? The entire world. There are so many Mel Foxes, but you're the most special. Thank you. And I like to think a lot of them are Melissa, which is the stupid version of being a Mel. That's, you know, and maybe there's some dudes out there too. <gasps> oh my God, yeah, there are dudes named Mel. What I, are their full names? Um, Mel Melbourne? Oh. It's just Mel, I think. It's just Mel Melvin? Melvin? Mel Mel Gibson's Bert? the only one I know. I didn't think his name was Melvin. I like, <laughs> so this is one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Uh, when I was in seventh grade, I was dating this kid named Tim Maurer. Sup, Tim. Uh, and I asked my friend Allison, uh, is Tim's full name Thomas? And she was like, Timothy? And I was like, oh, sure, sure. Yeah, mm, that makes sense. You know what? We all have those moments. That's uh, most of mine. My sales team the other day, my sales team, the sales team in my organization had me on for a call, and they completely blindsided me. They said, uh, everyone who's new to this always has to tell us their most embarrassing moment. <gasps> oh, my God. Okay. What's your most embarrassing moment? Well, I told them about a time uh, at soccer camp when I was a freshman, and I forgot my headphones on the bus. Sure. And so I sprinted back to the bus, and I opened what I thought was the glass door. Turns out it was a full glass window, and I straight, like, uh, uh, you could see my handprints oh, and my greasy no. fucking face print on it. Oh, no. And the entire boys' soccer team saw it all happen. I broke my flip flop. I had a huge bump on my head the rest of the week. Oh, no. It was a time. I thought that was a good, it, they a said good one. safe for work stories. Uh, anyway. Yeah, most of my embarrassing stories are not safe for work. We, yeah, right? <laughs> Yikes. Um, we're here to drink beer. Where are we? This is, oh, guys, where do you think we are? Let's, do you know uh, it? Put it in the comments. Just kidding, you'll know because it's in the title of this video. And also back there. Yes, we are at D9 Brewing in Cornelius. Cornelius, in North Carolina. North Carolina. Um, they are opening a location in Uptown soon. I'm super stoked. Which is gonna be amazing. Bringing sour to the city. Yes, and this, this space is particularly special to me. Oh, right. Because it's the first place I ever had a sour beer. And, and now that's like your whole and brand. And that's all I drink now. So um, Sour we're gonna have- and circuses, that's you. Yes, yeah. ooh, that's a good one. Me with the alliteration. I love it. Uh, so we're excited, we're caffeinated. We're we haven't caffeinated. eaten, so <laughs> this will be interesting. It's also 10 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. We've got a whole spread. So let's kick it off. I need a beer. I, I need, need to beer. shake the hangover. I don't have one because I stopped yes. right before you had your bourbon well, and coke. Well, yeah, my husband gave me like a bourbon and coke. Which is not a Mel drink. I okay. like them. They're really? good. Uh, but Alan also, you can never trust how much liquor he puts in a drink. I honestly get so drunk at your house because yes. Alan's just like, it's Alan's sneak fault. a little extra booze Always, in yes. All right. All right, what are we kicking off with? Numero uno, Into the White, which is a wheat beer, an American pale wheat. See how this goes. Wheat. It smells weedy. Wheat. 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 Smells. Weedy, not like Wheaties, but weedy. A wheat beer. Kicking it off. This should be a good uh, hair of the dog, I think. Interesting. It's much sweeter than I was expecting. Ooh. Some sweet, sweet. It's Some light. Sweet wheat. I'm sorry. That's, my husband says that when we play Settlers of Catan, 
which we don't do with Mel because Mel and Andrew clash in board games. He knows how to push every one of my buttons. This is like me with his brother, Kevin. He knows. Yes. Andrew is like, hey, this will be fun. Let's piss Mel off. And then I'm like, and he knows how to stop. do it This is terrifying. Um, but he'll always say, give me that sweet wheat when he gets to pick oh, up the wheat. Yeah. That oh, yeah. That's sweet a good one. Yeah, it's good. Um, I like that. All right. What did you think of Into the White? Uh, it is sweeter. Sweet wheat. Sweet wheat. <laughs> Uh, but it's good. It's an easy drinker. Definitely. Uh, I could throw back a couple of those. If you're a easily. new to beer person, I would say that's yes. for sure a starter beer. Yes. Um, usually I got like strawberry wheats and the apricot wheats thrown at me, so just a same good, concept. Good sweet wheat. All right, next up, this is like one of the most popular D9 beers that I can oh, think of. I yes. always see this in cans, and it's such a summer beer. This is the Swell Rider Tangerine Session Ale. Mm -hmm. So this one, if I had to guess, is going to be very citrusy, um, and it's probably not going to be too uh, bitter if it's a session. Oh, that's nice. You get the tangerine, it hits you right off the Ooh, bat. I smell it. It's not too bitter. Um, it's kind of smooth, actually. It reminds me a little bit more of like some of those. This, I, wow. So as far <laughs> as session beers, I always say it's because you can drink a lot per session. So they're lower ABV and very crushable. This literally would be the perfect river float beer. Oh yeah. Right? Grab it for your river floating days, socially distanced. You can get, measure your ropes six feet apart and go float down a river. Honestly, it's great. Although last year I did burn the entire front of my body and then not the back. Do you remember that? Yes. It was <laughs> such a bad burn. It was so embarrassing. Yeah, make sure you wear sunscreen. We linked one in our favorites we the other did. week in it's, the bruise letter. I used to think I was like above sunscreen. I'm not, that's well, not how it works. And we are both pale people. I'm not anymore, I'm getting very tan. But like our skin's naturally yeah. very pale. Yeah. So you're supposed to put a lot of sunscreen on, right? We don't want to end up like old and leathery. I don't want that at all. Last thing we want. Although that makes me think of when they go to Barbados and friends and it's raining oh, yeah. and Rachel wants to be tanning and she's like, oh, look at that lady. She's so tan and leathery. I'm so jealous. <laughs> so 90s, like the most 90s. Okay, this oh, man. is very beer. crushable and very light. Uh, I don't think I was expecting that. I'm going to go ahead and bring in one of these just to yes. kick it off. Whew, man. Belch city, bitch. Belch, belch city, We are doing bitch. everything against the COVID situation right we now, but are. don't worry, we're, 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 they have a self-cleaning station here, so we can wipe everything down We after. wiped everything down. We're sharing because... It, it's, we're caring. And because <laughs> we are sleeping in the same bed right now anyway. Yeah, a king-size bed, just letting you know. There's room for more. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Why do I do these things? This uh, is uh, one of the first beers I had here. It means no worries for, for the, the rest, rest of your days. days. It's all problem-free. Philosophy, Hakuna Matata. Okay, so my it's... favorite part of that song is the Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata. And I watched The Lion King the other day, when? and I was screaming it in the house. And Alan was like, "I've." <laughs> I rewatched The Lion King. We went. I to... watched the live ver live version. Oh, the live action. Okay, but why do they call it live action when it's not live action? Well, Animals it's also not don't live. talk. I know. They just lied. They I did. told Alan, I said, are these real animals at the beginning? And he goes, it's all animation, yeah. Mel. The animals don't talk. I said, I understand that animals can't talk, but... They look real. But why do they call it live action? It's they because do. they're they human so actors, real. I think. So they're acting with animation? <laughs> I have no idea. But I will say, A, Andrew <laughs> hates that all this shit is being remade as live action. Mm. It makes him furious. B, I watched the animated Lion King when it's we went best. to Vermont the last time, mm. and it was just like Andrew's 92-year-old grandma and myself while everyone else was outside doing things, and I was laying on one of those giant pillows on the ground, watching, and with like my feet kicked up while I was laying on my did stomach you, like a fucking child. Did you fall your eyes out during the Mufasa scene? Because yes. I, okay, the live-action Mufasa scene is not as good. Mm. It's not as heart-wrenching. Mm. The help me, if somebody. You, if anybody. you were a... Um, character in a Disney movie, I think you would be Nala. I love Nala. Thank you. That's like the highest compliment. I just had that thought of like, holy shit, you would be Nala. Who would I be? Um, I feel like... I can tell you what Andrew's answer to this was when we played the Newlyweds game last week. Ooh, what was it? Megara from Hercules. Oh. I was tr I was thinking more of um, the gal from Brave. The like feisty oh, little... Oh, like, I accept that. I like her. I always thought it would be the girl from Tangled. Yes. That's a good one, too. Yeah, Rapunzel is her um, name. Yes. The girl from Tango. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what the fuck is her name again? Okay, wait. Um, this is... Alan is also Pumbaa. Yes. <laughs> Andrew is Seth Timon. <laughs> Andrew is Timon. Am I wrong? No. Oh, my God. I'm Simba. Can we just be married? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 
You'd be a good Simba. I think I'd be a good Simba. I can be a boy. Um, all right, so Hakuna Matata. This is more my speed. This is a little bit higher on the bitterness. See, this is the, you know. You're like on the cusp. I had it when they first made this batch. I remember a tent outside over in their old location, oh, actually. You can smell the malt um, it's more than you can taste it. But it's good, but it's not my style, you know? Oh, girl, you're just my type. You have a pulse and you are breathing. All right, brown sugar, brown cow. <clears throat> All the names here are pretty good, I think. We're just gonna sing everything. Um, brown sugar, brown cow is the I'm first shaking. one. Are I'm shaking. I'm a little coffee drunk. <laughs> and a little dehydrated. And yes, uh, I was putting my makeup on and I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Do you ever wish that you could just like train Alan to do your makeup for you so you wouldn't have to do it? He would never do that. Andrew Even wants to learn how to French him. braid my hair. That would be wonderful. It would be great. I I don't think Alan would do that. Uh, my issue is he won't care if there are bumps, and I care if there are bumps. Oh, this is sex in my mouth. Mel loves uh, anything that tastes like a dessert but is a beer. Like, she'll opt for a dessert beer over a dessert, I think. Yes, right? it's so good. Oh, I love that beer. This was the first one I remember having from them at a beer festival. I want to say French. it was um, KCBF? the first KCBF that I went to. Yeah. Oh my god, it smells. It's so good. Just like straight sugar. Nom, 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 nom. So nom, it's nom, a brown nom, ale, nom. but it's like insanely oh. sweet. Oh my god, it's so good. It reminds me of um, Kitaba's uh, Evening Joe. Evening Joe that we just had last yeah. night, right? Well, like was, a little sweeter, but. I was gonna say, it's interesting to me because, like, usually to get a beer that's this sweet, it has to be heavier. It yeah. has to be like a porter or a stout. This is nice because it's really light. It's just like delightful. It's good. Oh my good god, stuff. I love that. That's super good. And it sounds like porn. Brown chick, brown cow. Okay. <laughs> I don't watch porn. Um, German chocolate cake <laughs> is, no, over here. <laughs> what if you're like, and <gasps> German? No. I did that one time when we were in Richmond. We went to Isley Brewing Company and I gave them such bad reviews on Untapped. Oh yeah. Because I drank the flight backwards from what they meant to serve me and I was like, none of this tastes like anything. And I remember I figured it out and I was like, in being like she rated them zero like zero and like once and i was so mean and it was just backwards and then i went and i think i deleted all of them oh, because good. i was like this good is job. terrible um, i've made a huge mistake german chocolate cake all right so a we used to have a german chocolate cake flavor for our soft serve machine at king cone mm. creamery where i worked all four years of high school so, we had one too and it i don't like german chocolate cake because it has a little bit of cherry i, and like, I don't cherry. like cherry say cherry again. cherry <laughs> It's because of Andrew. <laughs> so my husband's from Long Island and they do their, so Mary, mother of Jesus, married, like you're getting married, and then Mary, like Merry Christmas. And he is so emphatic about it that it's rubbed off on me. So now when I do E-R-R-Y, like a berry, it's berry instead of berry. <laughs> well, I know it's shifted. This is why I asked you to repeat it. Like, yeah. Mm, I, again? I've been alone with him. I said button the other day. For months. <laughs> no, you didn't. Alicia says button. I like do. I button. say button and kitten. I said it on a conference call, and I was like, I'm so sorry I just said button. <laughs> You're like, my co-founder does this. I say button. My weirdest thing that I say is hammock. Yes, that is a weird one. That is a weird one, but my mom says it. I've got past it, you know. I just say it, and then you're like, Usually whatever, I'm I know like, what she means. Eh, interesting. Like yesterday with your aerial hammock, I was like, you have a hammock. I was very excited. Mm. What do you think? I mean, I like it. It tastes like dessert to me. I don't think it's too overbearing on the cherry flavor. It's subtle. It tastes like chocolate, like a dark chocolate. Oh, I don't hate that. Ah. Wow, I'm surprised. I actually genuinely expected to hate that, so. Well, maybe it was just the ice cream. I like to Maybe be you actually like German chocolate cake, but that ice cream sucked. <laughs> I will say Black Forest cake, so where Andrew studied in Freiburg is in the Black Forest um, in Germany, and their Black Forest cake is straight cherries, and it's Awful. Mm. Um, but this is not bad. And for whatever reason, German chocolate cake reminds me of, did you ever watch Matilda? Yes. Oh, you know the, the cake that he has to eat? The trench bowl? Come on, Brucey! Oh my god. That was my like <laughs> favorite movie as a kid. Oh, and I think yeah. I thought that I was Matilda for oh, a long time. Oh, I think we all wanted to be Matilda. Don't Let's we be still? Honest. I like, would love. The um, Cheerio scene, it's so cute. It's so uh, cute. And her best friend is so sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, a bug! A bug! I found a bug. They're so cute. Did you ever watch My Girl? Yes. Did Don't you Don't talk to me about it. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mel seems so like straightforward and analytical, but she has so many emotions. Oh, and they all come out at, at one once. time. So you hold them back. You're like, I don't need to cry about that right now. And then at one point, something, something not cry worthy. Something happens. breaks me, and then it's just all of it comes it's out. All of it. 
It's my favorite thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one is Whiskers on Kittens, and oh, it's a I love this sour. Sour blonde. I think floater is. Just a little floaty. Oh, I think it's COVID. <laughs> it's probably just a bubble. Is no, it a bubble? No, no it's a floaty. I, I can touch it. It's good that I'm touching it, right? <laughs> and that my finger's in the beer now. <laughs> I got, got it. Got it. All right. No floaters in these ones. Floaters? Um, I hardly know her. I don't know. Ah, I just wanted to do an er. <laughs> we haven't had an er yet. That's true. I'm glad I just stuck my fingers in there, but don't worry, I've used so much hand sanitizer, it probably just tastes more like alcohol. Mmm. Ugh, oh, I love this beer. This was the first beer I had from here. How the first sour taste? I've ever had. <laughs> I almost stuck my it. finger? Uh, it tastes great. Okay. You can't tell. That's sour? No, that your finger was oh. in there. Uh, it's funny because like everyone making hand sanitizer is just like, here's a shit ton of pure vodka. And yes. they're like, yeah, that might smell bad. And you're like, <laughs> Reservoir Distillery in Richmond is doing just straight like grain alcohol. And I put it on and I smell Everclear from college. Yep. And I like want to vomit. It's so bad. Blech. Blech. Okay. So this, we've talked about this how is I, super sour. I like some sours and I don't like others. This isn't funky. This is straight up tart. Yes. Like warhead tart. Yes. So this isn't my scene. This was the first sour I ever had. I like it. It shocked my taste buds the first time I had it. You but like I'm that so shit though. I'm so used to sour now that it's like, it takes a really, really, really ridiculously sour beer to like shock my taste buds. These Wait days. a second, I think I'm having a transformation. This is, I think maybe because it's a sour blonde ale, that undercurrent of the blonde and is kind of blondes. balancing. I'm not a blonde. We do have more fun. <laughs> what if you were blonde? I, uh, Oh, you would look so bad. I'm so sorry. I'm imagining it now. No. I think I could do like red. Yes, I mm. think you could do red. I could because I'm because oh my, my doppel your freckles and my doppelganger is Donna Penistone? from that oh. 70 show. <laughs> Donna. Oh. From Orange Is the New Black. Yes, too. yes, yes. It took me a minute. Um, Who's my doppelganger? I have no idea. I didn't know I was a Donna until some guy literally came up to me and was like, "Holy shit, you look just like Donna from that '70s show in high school." I would say it's and then, because you have like piercing eyes, you're tall, and you have a deeper voice. The deep voice, yeah. yeah. But uh, I think I have her like face shape. Mm -hmm. I don't have her very thin eyebrows from Orange Is the New Black. Thank Black. God. Bless. That's like a. I didn't day. do that in the '90s. Thank God. You were. Between ages zero and ten. Or the 2000, okay. early 2000s. I was like, what are you talking about? Some kids these I days my are getting their flags. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I will say my mom, hi mom, hey, cared mom. a lot about my appearance when I was a kid. So she started dyeing my hair blonde at seven and started waxing my eyebrows around ten. To her point, I would probably have had a unibrow otherwise. So. Yeah. Look, I said, um, no, it's not because it's bad. A burp was coming up as I was <laughs> drinking it. <laughs> And it scared me a little bit. Does that ever happen to you guys? No, just me? Expecting um, a bourbon vomiting on the floor? I actually love, yeah. <laughs> That's a great uh, cards, cards Against, against humanity, humanity card. card. Um, also my husband I love green. this beer. This is Carnival. Carnival, a sour passion fruit and cream I, ale. I bought, brought a four pack of this back home last time is I was here. Is that also because you're a circus freak? Um, is no. Carnival a circus thing? I had this beer two years ago at um, the beer festival that I went to with Danielle. And... Um, the D9 beer rep was wow. hooking it up. Oh my God. Isn't it amazing? This is so good. Okay, so usually yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be a sour person, but they balanced it with the sweetness the of the cream. cream. Oh it's my God. It's passion fruit cream and um, sour, and you think that's a weird thing? Oh my God. It's my, I think it's my favorite beer here. It's why I took it home last time. Oh my God, this is uh, so good. Right? There's two in my beer fridge at home, so. I, my taste buds are changing. I love it. I'm so shocked. We're both evolving so that we like everything. It's we amazing. We are so inclusive here at Work For Your Beer. We're becoming one. One with the world. Also, support human rights. Just don't throw that one out there. Just <clears throat> don't be an asshole. Everyone's yeah. fine. Someone sent us a response to our bruise letter that was like, don't get political. And we were all... And I said, please feel free to unsubscribe. Yeah, Alicia's responses are really funny to those ones. That's so. the only response there is. Please feel free to unsubscribe at, at any all point. times yeah. if you don't believe in human equality. If you hate watching this video, I have good news. There's an X button somewhere up at the top, and you can just close out and not tell us how much you hate it, because I promise you... We don't care. We don't care. And you're not going to change our mind. Yeah. And we probably think you're an asshole, and I will bully you, and I'm very good at words, and I will make you cry. Alicia is really good at words. Thank you. She proofreads everything. I she do. proofreads the text messages that I have to send to my dad. <laughs> fuck you, dad. Yeah, dad. Genuinely, uh, fuck you. That was a that was a time. Uh, oh, fuck my dad, too. I unfriended him on Facebook. 
we're we're not on like the dad train right now. No, no. But we have each other. Yeah. I'll be your daddy. Yeah. We do have daddies. <laughs> we so our uh, our husbands. I, I don't know how this started, but they ha they call themselves the Council of Daddies. There's my husband, Little Daddy. There's Adam, Medium Daddy, or just Daddy. And then there's Alan, Mel's husband, Big, Big Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> and they're the Council of Daddies, and they make decrees. And the council has decreed that we will sit, play the Settlers of Beer Tan. Yes. It's uh, the best. <laughs> Alan was talking to Adam on the phone this morning, mm -hmm. and he goes, when do you think Andrew's going to be back from Meredith's? And I said, I have no like idea. Yours. And he goes, OK. We'll, we'll do a daddy text chain. <laughs> and I was like, that's hilarious. It's so funny it's to me because when we went to Hawaii for Mel's wedding, it was only like the second time that Alan had ever met Andrew. And I think he was still kind of unsure about him. But Andrew has this thing where even if at first you're like, who the fuck is this guy? Eventually you're like, I, I see where he's coming yeah. from. I'm kind of into this guy. Yeah. Unless he's a bully. Well, yes, he does uh, tend to pick on you, but I think it's just because. It's out of love. Yeah. It's he because also, he likes us. He wouldn't do it if he didn't think you were smart. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. So yeah. take it as a Okay, but also I just have to tell you what happened last night because we were playing Unstable, uh, Unicorn. Unstable Unicorns. And I gave literally the least harsh action, which is just the other player discards a card. And I don't like pissing off Alan because Alan and I always go through that shit. And I, I like Alicia more than Andrew, so I, I did it to Andrew. And man, he targeted me. Board. He does that. And, he does uh, it to me too. When we play with anyone else, it's usually. I just wish he would have understood the game a little more because that was the first turn. Uh, because that's like the best thing you can punish someone with is discarding a card. Anyway. He's a butthole. Um, that's the thing. What are we drinking? So this is Brewer's <laughs> Day Off. It's oh, a yeah, goza, goza with cantaloupe and cucumber. Cucumbers. My thing is, yeah, remember when I put cucumbers in my eyes for a picture and then they looked like pickles and so we didn't use those <laughs> pictures? I tried to be like, rest day, cucumbers, and it was like, why do those look like you have fucking pickles on your face? <laughs> um, I don't like the flavor of cantaloupe. Well, cantaloupe and honeydew are the worst fruits that go into fruit salads. Scott Griffin, fight me on that. Scott Griffin will fight you on that. He'll fight you on anything. Uh, True, he's yeah. He's so much. He's the head brewer at Legion Brewing, and he's also one of our good friends, and he's so aggressive when he drinks. Uh, not aggressive, like he physically. Hates the he the state just, of Indiana. He does, and he also loves Honeydew Ellen. He's like, I will take this one to like my grave. I mean, Honeydew I is the like best a fruit. good ripe cantaloupe and ripe honeydew, but the issue is they don't give you ripe fruit in those fruit bowls. They're always unripe, so Agreed. they're crap. When it's melon and grape, I want to throw it in someone's face. Yeah. Uh, I will also say the cantaloupe cucumber combo just reminds me of the cucumber melon uh, lotion from Bath and oh, Body Works. Yes. And yeah. I'm just not a fan. So Man. it tastes like we're drinking that lotion. Remember when but you used to have like 12 bottles of all the different flavors of those lotions? Did you have the body sprays too? I did. And I mostly would have warm vanilla sugar and sweet pea. Yes. And then I had the. Um, love spell from Victoria's Secret. That was my scent, That baby. was my scent. And literally, <laughs> I was like the Regina George of my middle school, where I was like, I'm sorry, I smell that you're wearing love spell, and that's kind of my thing. <laughs> I swear Alicia. to God, I was such an asshole. I was the worst person. Like, I don't know how this happened. If happens. you could please change your scent. That's my scent. So. Um, to the point where <laughs> this kid, Ben Dettori, hi, Ben, uh, was like, I smelled love spell, and I looked around for you, and you weren't there. And I was like, and you're like, I'm going to have to find that bitch. Yeah, she can't wear that. Uh, hoops are my thing. Um, I was telling Alicia that I, I'm starting to like hula hoop for fun slash workouts. Uh, and I said, I'm just going to make my personal brand hoops. So my Lyra, which is a hoop, hula hoops, hoop earrings. I'm going to start shooting hoops. Like, what else can you're I do? You're tall enough. I bet you'd be good at basketball. Oh, I'm great at shooting. I'm terrible at layups. I, like, can't time it properly, hmm. which is a, I mean, I'm, I'm sure opposite, if I practice, which is it would not be okay. surprising. Yeah. 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 What's um, my brand? Your brand is writing, anxiety, pro <laughs> things, therapy, <laughs> great Pyrenees, and your uh, country club. Great. <laughs> yes. I'm anxious. I have a pool and I have a dog. And I write stuff. That's it. That's what I got. I'm into it. <laughs> Am I wrong? You're not wrong. What else would I you like, add? I like books. Yeah, you are a good reader. I do yoga. But I feel like reading and writing kind of is like an as Words. assumption. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Words. But like, what can we theme with you? Words. Like things that start with P, Pyrenees. Pyrenees, pools. Yeah. Planks. Yeah. Or poses. Um, what about writing? Paragraphs. Paragraphs. Okay. C 
See, like we can create your personal brand. Send us a message. We'll create your personal brand for Cheers you. Cheers at workforyourbeer.com. Yeah, Tell it. us that you need a brand. We'll do it. Seriously, if you're watching this, please do it because it'll be fun for us. I would you. love this. We've done this for our, when we had team members, which we don't anymore because it's just the two of us. Uh, <laughs> We um, we were too weird for everyone. It, it was too much. We, we were, were too intense. Yeah, we. To be fair, yeah, we we're, asked a lot of people. Sorry, guys, who helped us out at the beginning. We love you. We didn't ask anyone to help us. Yeah, they to all be fair, offered. you came to us, <laughs> and then we had work to give you. But it was a lot. I understand. It was a lot. But we used to help them come up with their uh, email signature. Yes. Which mine is canned wine connoisseur. Mel's is head corgi snuggler. Uh, we had a pizza enthusiast. Oh yes. Um, what was Danielle's? A running or coffee related? Coffee one? and running consultant. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're we're here to help. Yeah. If you need an email signature too, we're consulting now. Uh, I'm gonna do a thing where I check the time on here because uh, we didn't start drinking beer till like What's five minutes in. What's the time? Here. Well, it's gotta be close to midnight. I just like to sing. That's the thing. Not sure if you could tell, but uh, I like attention. <laughs> wow, we had four. We, we're friends. Coming back. Friends first, beer later. The fun thing about this camera is it only records 30 minutes at a time. I don't know why. I think probably there's a way to fix that. Hang on, know. hang I on a minute. research that. Okay, so we're moving on to number nine. Tropiculture. Jabatacaba? Jabatacaba? Habatacoba. <laughs> 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 what if I just Joe Bo, Joe Botacaba? Shout out to Marketing Mezzo holding it down for D9's marketing. <laughs> As we talk about it, she's like, I'm gonna go. She's like, I'll do all the samples with you guys. All right, so this um, is gonna be a, a juicy IPA, which means it's gonna be right in my wheelhouse. Ha, ha, why is it pink? Ooh. Why is it pink? Uh, why do I know? What's a <laughs> What is it? A jabotacaba? You okay, think I know okay. what the fuck a jabotacaba is? <laughs> it's a fairy. It's a fairy, guys. <laughs> a fairy. Obviously. I think she said berry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a berry, guys. Obviously. <laughs> so confident with the fairy. <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh my god. I need That's glasses my... for my ears. What oh are my those? Hearing aids? Yeah. My mom is getting them. Less, because she does have a hearing problem. So at this point, I yell at people to get off my lawn. I got shingles, and I need hearing aids. So my brand is actually that I'm an 80-year-old man. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, this is interesting. The fairies in it are very prominent. They're so <laughs> prominent. Can't you see? It's like magic. <laughs> what if one just appeared? <laughs> what do we have to do? We have to believe in Tinkerbell, or we have to clap? What's the thing? I feel like it's believe, but in the office they clap for some okay. reason. Yeah, OK. I couldn't remember. I believe. I believe. That's yummy. It's not like bitter at all. It's an IPA, which is interesting. I don't know that I would classify it as like a juicy. It's berry. It tastes like juice. Oh, but I don't think it's like a juicy. I, you know what no, I mean? I, don't I feel like when I think juicy, IPA. I think citrus though. So it maybe. doesn't have to be like we've had like pineapple IPAs. Yes. But I don't know what I would classify this as. Like a, a berry saison, maybe. Yeah, it's a little funky. It's a little funk. A little funk. Uptown funk you up. All right. Next up, another tropiculture. This is a pineapple juicy IPA. I'm Whoa. a genius. I'm so Boom. smart, guys. It's guys, great. I just, I constantly think my nose is running, so. Is it? I mean, I have sinus issues, and when I drink, it makes them worse. <laughs> so. It's just sinuses. The masks also make it worse. The masks are terrible. Have or, you guys worked out in a mask yet? Yeah. Um, it's really hard. Uh, the one time I got a little like, you know when you see the Ooh. spots come when you're like, I might pass out. Yeah. I got that once um, when I was working out in a mask. And I did rock climb in a mask, and that was fine. Uh, but the thing about working out in a mask, if you're like upside down or moving weirdly, which I do, is it always gets in my eye. Mm. Always like shoves right into my eye, and I don't know how to fix that. I think, but. so to be fair, I don't go upside down in my workouts that are outside the house. I do yoga in the house, and then I run. When I run, I just put a bandana on, oh, so it's not like yes. tight against my face. Smart. Um, so I can still breathe. Ooh, but my mask goes like on my nose yep. specifically nose and stays ridge. in place and I really like that. I find a it bird. Wow. A plane. Okay. Oh my god, a superhero. <laughs> that one 
Okay, it is a little bit surprising because he flew right to the ledge on the glass. Like, I was a little nervous for him. He knows what's up. He seems cool. He seems chill. Yeah. Okay, again, anyway, to me, this doesn't taste like an IPA. It tastes like juice. It's great. It's honestly, if you're a person who's like, I'm not sure that I'm into the bitterness component of IPAs, yeah, you're gonna good. love all of these. It's awesome. Fruity. Tasty. I want hops. Damn it. She wants to chew on a raw hop. Ah, yeah. uh, my dream, if anyone can make this true, please let me know, is to, for us to go to a hop farm and like do snow angels and hops, Ooh. like fresh hops. Someone call us. Hops on hops on hops. Hops on hops on hops. Um, okay, next up is Holy Goat, a Maybach Hell. We're gonna see what that a means. Maybach. I think it probably means a Maybach, Maybach. Hellas. So Maybach uh -oh. is usually a spring, um, like a fest beer almost. Yeah. So my Bach is really similar to a fest beer. Okay. And that probably just cut off and meant to be Hellas. I think they just uh, canned this one because I took some photos of its cans the other day. Um, I think it might be that one. Um, well, it's interesting because it just tastes like a, it tastes fest beer -y to me. My Bach is usually a little on the maltier side, um, low on bitterness. Ooh, that's smooth. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. It's kind of ambery, right? Why do I feel like I have coconut? I was tasting caramel, so it's possible. Oh, yeah. Do you mix those up? Yeah. <laughs> Is it because of um, Samoas? Yes. Uh, I think I associate, I always associate Samoa things because I love fucking Samoas. I love Samoas. Andrew hates those. Well, he doesn't have to eat them. I will eat Andrew's share of Samoas. My favorite Girl Scout cookies though are Tagalongs. Mm. I love peanut butter. Alan do you know peanut I... butter is my favorite food? Really? Which kind though? Like the Great. natural kind no. or like the GIF? GIF. Yeah. yeah. I used to eat that out, like by the spoonful uh, in college all the time. Mm. My diet in college was fucking terrible. No, it was not good. Oh, yeah. I remember making buffalo chicken dip with reduced fat. Um, cream cheese? Cream cheese and <laughs> telling people that it was- It's healthy. It was healthy because it was- <laughs> A full brick of reduced fat cream cheese. It's healthy. And I, man, I ate a lot of buff chick dip. Oh my God, that was like my favorite food. And now I don't eat chicken. I want to make buffalo shrimp dip. Ooh, that would be good. Right. You could also use um, chickpeas, or I was gonna say you could use tofu, or you can use um, what's the fruit that shreds jackfruit. Like, yeah, jackfruit. Interesting. You could use jackfruit. That would actually be like the perfect texture for that. Wow, you have a good point. <gasps> Do you know what's delicious at Trader Joe's is what? the soy chorizo. It's I haven't tried it. Shockingly, so someone who I know bought it because she thought that in Spanish it was saying I'm chorizo and <laughs> did not know that it was so Honestly, that's awesome. That was great. But I it's so that. good. It tastes the and exact same. I, I mean I feel like Trader Joe's would do that because they do their brands yes. pretty funny. Yes. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Uh wow. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's a new vegan place that I, we have to go to in Noda. Okay. It's called Oh My Soul. And mm. Wait, um, wait, wait, did they replace the Red House? No, that was good. No. Uh, maybe. They the painted the it corner? now, though. It, yeah. There's like planters out front painted like cows. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's, and they they're from South house. Africa. And so I called, I called to place an order the one yeah. day, and they answered in a very strong British accent. And I couldn't tell if they were fucking with me or not. Because I was like, are people just bored? Well, South because African accents are so interesting because it's like British slash Australian. Yes. It's very weird. And it was very thick. Yeah. And I was like, I can't tell if they're fucking with me or not. And then I read up on, I was like, oh, they're from South Africa. That yeah. makes way more sense. And yeah. they're the sweetest people. And they have um, a variety of like really good cocktails, amazing desserts, like Ooh. all vegan desserts. I had their um, vegan Snickers bar. Oh my god. Well, here's my thing. I think the I'm not Red vegan, House. Just so you know, I fucking love it. I'm like obsessed with it. I think the Red House didn't go well because they just didn't have anything unique to offer. Like you could have gotten anything that you would order there anywhere, anywhere else. The um, Goodyear house is also really good though. It's so funny because Allie and Whitney lived in that house. I know. It's and insane. It got it oh got my converted. god, it's so funny. Um, they Fuck should out. get free food there for life because they live there. You know, Ew. just pitch it. Whitney? Allie? I mean, she uh, doesn't live here anymore. I don't know. She's in Amsterdam. Oh, that's she moved fun. To Amsterdam. That sounds great. I think. Okay, this <laughs> what one. What if I just made that up? Like, she moved somewhere. I just stopped thinking Andrew about her. Life. <laughs> that's literally what he does. He's like, I don't know. I thought the Stop other day, we were driving here and he goes, So Mel lost her job, right? I was like, No. <laughs> he was like, I don't know. I just thought that happened. I was like, Why? <laughs> Well, to be fair, he was probably thinking because my company did two weeks of furlough. I guess. Um, that's funny. <laughs> I was like, no, she didn't. He was like, oh, okay. Now that bitch still working a lot. A lot. It's fine. Um, uh, I like my job. 
I was just talking about I how much my I job. enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah, and Alicia got a new job since we've last seen her. She's running um, the all Richmond fun experience. stuff. The Richmond Experience. It's so fun. So and if you're in Richmond and you need an experience, she's your girl. I got you. At the Richmond Experience, therichmondexperience.com. Hashtag RVAX. It us. Um, all right. This Sistema nat Naturae. This is another one of their like very, at, very, very popular sours. Look at how they spell this. Sistema Naturae, Scuppernong and Lily Cask. That's what we've got here. This it's is a 7% really sour. This is a tart one. Tart. Tart. Be prepared. Tart. Also, when things are just tart like this, I can't pull flavors out. Let's I'm like, see. it's just tart. I don't know how to describe it better. Coming in hot. That was a good one. Okay. <laughs> I have thoughts. Okay. Tastes a little bit to me like a triple almost. Okay. Like a sour triple, um, which is Belgian. So it's tasting a little yeasty to me is what that means. Mm. And then scuppernong would mean grape, which I taste. Lily is a flower, which I do not taste because Ooh. I do not eat them Let's because go they're poisonous. One. They're Oh, well, why is it in the beer then? Exactly. My question. Nine. Are we now poisoned? This was their plan all along. This is how we die. This is I mean, how honestly, we die. This is probably the best way we could die, drinking beer. I just said to Mel on the way here, what is the likelihood that when I die, it's like with you in a car or something? Well, it was because I uh, didn't slow down. <laughs> it was a red light. That. I did not like that, though. So my husband and I I get so much anxiety because I know that you're uncomfortable in cars. But and instead, then I'm like, you're like, nah, I just won't stop. And well, then you're like, here's Sorry. the thing. is like coming off of a highway, I feel like that slowdown is a lot harder than normal slowdowns. Fair. But, but I can I tell. I the car. I, I stopped. Can, I can immediately tell that Mel knows she made me anxious and she's annoyed that she's made me anxious. So her response is, Sorry. No, I said so. <laughs> I, I meant it. I, I know it. you did, but I knew you were annoyed with yourself. Yeah, so like I, I did it. Like I was like, yeah. fuck, I did this thing that made you upset. And like, you're like, oh, sorry. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm not upset. Well, I don't like disappointing people. <laughs> I know you don't, but I wasn't disappointed. I trust you. <laughs> she goes, I didn't like that. I know. <laughs> but then we moved on, and here we are. It's great. Uh, yeah, I, I would that. say I'm probably an average driver. I think you're a great driver. Oh. What, so in every friendship that I have, I do not drive. Yeah, she's uh, she's a I'm really a passenger. good passenger. I uh, can keeps me awake. Play on great the long trips. I can play great music. Yes. I can navigate. I can provide you with a snack from the cooler in the back seat that I probably packed. She of. doesn't point out everything on the side of the road, which I think is probably the most annoying like passenger driver to have. Mm. Do you ever have those? Andrew does that. Wow, look at that billboard. Wow, that's cool. Wow. And I'm like, oh my God, calm down. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm driving. It's so don't distract me. <laughs> no. But Mel and I like to sing in the car. It's great. We do. We power mm -hmm. sing. Uh, we we were singing uh, Fall Out Boy after uh, the 24, 24 hours, hours of booty uh, oh that we God. did our first year as Work For Your Beer. <laughs> and we were like a little delirious after that because, you know, you're there for hours? a long time. We, I don't know how many, we walked, we didn't bike. We're not like bikers. I but kind of hate cyclists, um, but I have a bike now. We just, we, it's a lot. It's like scary. I think it's scary to be like a road bicyclist. So if you guys do that, like great job. Power to I you. have too much anxiety for that. Mm -hmm. um, and so we walked, mm -hmm. but we were there for the, we were supporting all the cyclists and doing the thing. And then we uh, were like loopy and blasting fallout Grand Theft Autumn. And this cop pulls up next to us and we're like headbanging. And then he looks over at us and is just like. Yeah, and I was like, hi. And I was like, I want to be embarrassed, but I want to keep singing to the song. Yes, so for sure. It's important. Uh, what if you guys were our friends? Would you guys like us? I don't know, we talk a lot. <laughs> we talk a lot. Uh, all right, this is Defying Gravity. This is a 14% ABV sour. Mm. What's gonna happen? Are you turned on by the beer? So this, I had this last time. I think this is the white chocolate sour. Um, it says, Defying Gravity, 5th edition, bright side of the sun. Try it. It is creamy. It's not super tart. It smells sugary. I think this is the white. Megan. <gasps> Megan. Defying Gravity. Is that the white chocolate one we had? Yeah. OK, what else is in it? Uh, it's white chocolate. It's like this whole cluster of weirdness. White chocolate. chocolate, white chocolate and I don't think it says up there. If you handed this to me, I would never know that it was 14%. Oh, yeah. It is danger zone to a fucking T. Yeah. Oh, my God. After one, you're like, woo! I'm 
already a little Isn't I get a glow. Like I want so all of good. those weird combinations. Give me the weird White combinations. White chocolate of shit. ginger. Yeah, right? Mm. Uh it's confusing to my taste buds, I think. Mostly. I like to be a little confused. Um, but I love Said that the it's bisexual. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh yeah, no, it's a it's a really good flavor, but I never would have thought to combine them. I think it's definitely a lot heavier on the white chocolate than the ginger for me, I would but say the that ginger too. gives it like a little like Kick. bite. Yeah. Yes. I like you always say bite. I've been winking a lot. She keeps winking and I think it's because she hasn't seen me in a while. I know, I'm so excited to see her. <laughs> no, you and Pancake. Her dog immediately at first barked at me and was like, Who's here? People yeah. don't come here, it's COVID. Yeah. And then was like, Oh my god, it's Alicia. And laid on his back and was like, Please pat my tummy, it's been too long. And Alicia was like, I have to pee. And Pancake's like, I will do that with you. <laughs> and so he came in with me and I pet his belly while I peed. It was great. You got her. You know? Uh he's such a funny doggo. Okay, next. How on earth am I going to pronounce this? This is not usually an issue for me. Viking Frouch? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Validation. Scottish Sour. Remember that I can do a pretty good Scottish accent. Oh, uh, we did a murder mystery party together one night, and she had to be Scottish, and she was great. I really go into character for this. I don't things. remember even what my character was for that one. I don't remember either. I want to say you were the whore. I feel like... Sam always oh, Sam, makes you the horror. Listen, I love <laughs> Sam, but Sam is like, Mel's like the hoochiest of like the friends, so she'll be the she slutty one. She always gets to be the slutty one. Oh my God. I, when we did um, our murder mystery party with Bethany once we moved to Richmond, it yeah. was A, trailer trash, which is great because that's my entire family. I was ready. <laughs> B, I was supposed to be like basically the sleazeball person who was trying to get money out of everyone else. And like, I ended up being murdered which just meant that I got to sit around and drink moonshine, so I got the drunkest. I mean, everyone. that sounds great. Awesome. Uh, also, remember how I told you things don't shock my taste buds? Scottish sour. So this will probably taste like um, I was a, Fleming, a, red, a Flemish sour. Like a red ale. It sh I wasn't prepared. So this is exactly what I expected from a Scottish sour. So <laughs> <laughs> she's a sis around. So, just so you know. Anyway, uh, Andrew, this is one of his favorite styles of beer, but usually we would call it a Flemish versus a Scottish, which, like, whatever. Well, um, maybe the Frosch is Flemish. Perhaps. And but, Scottish. Yeah, this is, like, Andrew's favorite thing. There's one that's really famous that is slipping my mind right now that he would always find the bottles of at um, Salud. Mm -hmm. And so, it's a really good one, but a Scottish red is what we're used to having. And so yes. that's probably why you're excited. That's that. yeah. Well, yeah. and it's like a little amber color. Yeah, like totally. The red. But that, yeah, it's um, more <laughs> funk than tart. Mm. It. I don't know. It slapped me in the face there. <laughs> I was not ready for it. Thank you. You're welcome. I um, like, it, like it a little rough, you know. That's why you couldn't do a uh, Krav Maga. Oh uh, no, uh, <laughs> Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> I can't. You know. If you guys have tried Jiu Jitsu, there are moments. That you're like, I'm getting choked out. By a really like, strong, hot guy, probably. Alan. Alan and I rolled together. I mean, he's strong out. Yeah. I, just, I didn't like hot. it because my brain said, he's family. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> Sister wives. So i kind of like, yeah, you can check me out, whatever. Like, I'm not like that defensive. I would be a bad MMA fighter is what I'm trying to say. I accidentally yeah. also punched myself in the face once. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys ever do kickboxing or Muay Thai or anything, but like- All the time. Uh, just even those punching workouts, like you're like going, I fucking clocked myself. <laughs> I have no spatial How awareness. How is that not your most embarrassing moment? Oh my moment? god. Well, because it was by myself. Oh, one saw. okay. Obviously, Thank type god three. your tongue was in between your teeth. Yeah, I, I gave myself a pretty good uppercut. Did Man. you get a shiner? No, uh, but it hurt, and I realized, well, that would probably hurt someone else, so at least I have that going That's for good. me. And then when Alan and I practiced together, he would punch my hands, and I had to catch for him, and that bitch punches hard. He, like, I swear to God, he almost broke my wrist the whole time. I'm like, hey, I he get it. Like taking out his anger on you're you. You're doing the thing, but, like, calm the fuck down, because my wrist will break. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. And anyway. that's if your wrist broke. That'd be terrible for you. Uh, yeah, that would be awful. Yeah. Um... Also, we did Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu for literally six months of my life, so I can do a baseball bat choke, and I can do triangle choke, and I can probably do an arm bar, but that's you all I got. You usually go through a phase. Oh, and a rear naked. You do like that stuff, you did rock climbing, you did uh, BBG, then you did yoga for a long time. I did Orange Theory. Orange Theory. I did Rock Box for mm -hmm. a little bit, uh, but Ariel. Ariel stuck. I'm so shocked. Well, I committed. I bought the rig. That'll so. do it. Yeah. I'm going to host a little circus show in Noda. 
but I can't figure out a best way to make it socially distant. Because mm -hmm. people always come by and like, oh my god, wow! This, these ladies drove by the other day when Sarah and I were practicing, and they lowered their window and they're like, do something cool! We were stretching, we were like in our cool down, and I was like, go ahead Sarah, get up! And she like did the thing and they're like, yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> it was hilarious. Anyway, it's weird being an aerialist. Mel's <laughs> a circus freak and I'm so happy about it. All right, last but not least, an Irish coffee stout. I'm gonna good. love this. I love coffee anything. Mel and I say, we're porter and stout gals. gals. Um, this is a lighter stout. It looks stout. murky. It's a lighter stout. Um, it's not- The uh, color looks like bad pond water. <laughs> D9, so up your bad pond. Pound water? Pama. Uh, my neighbor also uh, thought Pancake's name for the longest time was Pound Cake. <laughs> so I called him Pound Cake for a really long time. Have you followed any of this conversation or is it just us? Just us. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, it tastes like chocolate to me. It's not super heavy. It tastes like chocolate. That's my review on this. Yes, one. but I wanted it to be drier. And t like m all coffee. Do you think I just also associate chocolate with coffee? Yes. I do oh, think that. My and flavor you mix up, is you mix up chocolate and vanilla. I know. I don't know flavors, guys. I know what I like and I know what I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first and step. That's the thing. <laughs> Cause I'm a lady, that's why. Name that movie. The Aristocrats. I almost said the Aristocrats. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's it. <laughs> I like that I told you to I know, that. I was like, great. Right. <laughs> We ended on a coffee beer, which is great because we haven't had enough of that today. Oh my god, I think we're going uh, crazy. What do you think our faves are? Fave a fave. All right. Carnival. I'm Carnival team. Give team me a minute. Carnival. Give me a minute. Uh, Megan talked to me about maybe doing a circus thing in here. Ooh. And I said, I will literally swing on my hoop and serve beer if you ask. <gasps> yeah. I... She gave the big thumbs up to that. <laughs> which one did I say actually tasted like an IPA? Um, the, the pineapple one or the second one? The, that one, that's the tangerine one, the easy drinker. Oh no, then it was Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Nala? Simba? Mela? Simba? Nala? I could reenact the entire Lion King if you let me. I would love that. Oh, let's do it. Okay. We'll sing Can You Feel the Love Tonight on our next karaoke That was night. one of my, okay, so for my wedding, one of the recessional or processional, I can't remember which, songs was a piano cover of Can You Feel the Love Tonight. I love that. It was great. I loved it. All right, we have to chug these. I don't know if we've run out of time again because time is a thing. Prost. Prost. I forgot how bad you are chugging. Guys, it's my worst attribute. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but I am really bad at chugging. Alicia got mad at me once because I did a chugging thing for I a I didn't get mad at you, I just fundraiser. Fundraiser. I made fun of you. Those are different things. <laughs> for a fundraiser, they were like, chug a beer and then tag us. And so I did, but it took me literally like 38 seconds to chug the beer. So I sped it up in my Instagram video and Alicia's like, what are you supposed to do? I was like, that's cheating. Like, I, I, was like, I don't think it's cheating. I just didn't think anyone literally wanted to hear me go, go, go. And at the very end, I was like, this is how I die. <laughs> I did a full beer, though, so. I didn't get mad at you. I just made fun of you. That's I fair. get to poke fun. You have to deal with it. No, we. Because we're married. We love each other. We if do. you guys can't tell. I um, actually, when we're off camera, I fucking hate I actually it. was like, it would be really funny if we like cut and we're like, fuck you. Literally, <laughs> what the fuck are you, could you learn flavors, please? Excuse me, your chocolate and coconut and vanilla <laughs> mix-ups are making us look bad. <laughs> no, Mel is the best person on the planet. Oh, very far from it, but Alicia is a very good friend. She the best. We love fans. We love each other. We do. Thanks for uh, watching this. If you no if one watched, it. <laughs> there is not a single soul. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. For today. Next time we'll so. include some feet shots at the end to keep you creeps happy. Yes. Yeah. How about that? Give a little like boob shimmy and a foot. Okay. 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 Sounds All right. Good. Bye. I can do that whole wrap. Chad shut me down on MTV, but it feels so empty without me. So, put on your lips, put on your lips, get ready, because this shit's about to get heavy. I just said it on my lawsuits. Fuck you, Debbie! <laughs>